you telling me I could have Amazon versus OnlyFans? Yes. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> Essentially, yes. And each other people <laughs> would be fighting each other. Hey guys, welcome to the basement. Hey, we're gonna be talking about the five animes that are streaming right now that are available on Netflix, Hulu, um, HBO Max, um, Crunchyroll, anything that has it. Um, you can find Crunchyroll. Yeah, yeah, y'all like that. So first and foremost, guys, anime is probably one of my favorite things besides wrestling, skateboarding, and music. Uh, I grew up watching it. Um, everything from, of course, Dragon Ball Z to One Piece, I think the, the main ones. But today, this is going to be about ones that you guys are sleeping on, that you all need to get out there, plug in, and watch these, because they're worth it. And most of these are about 20 episodes. You can binge it in, like, a weekend. Okay, so Fade by Apocrypha is, like, an amazing anime off of Netflix. Um, I streamed this about a, a year and a half ago, so it's, it's kind of new, kind of not. It's, a net, it's considered a Netflix original. I guess I don't know how they they're calling them originals because I think these were made in made over in Japan and really big in Japan and they came over here. I'm guessing Netflix has bought the rights. Uh, yeah, I think it says like rights. Rights. They bought the rights, so they Netflix can. They're only you can only find it on their thing because I don't think you can find it on Crunchyroll right now. But it's cool. Um, Join Joanna Bart. She is the heroine of the of this entire show. Um, she is monitoring a tournament between families that are linked to the past. Each family controls a famed hero from the history pages, some from the mythos of literature. Uh, watch the rise of a homunculus um, as he becomes an unwanted hero himself. It is really cool. It's just the soundtrack and the sound effects alone make this because a lot of animes have like, ch I feel like they have cheaper sound effects. They're mostly on the art and the action and the sound effects are kind of used throughout each one. Like I bet you, you could find this, the, the um, Kamehameha wave Probably sound probably is the same one in a Street Fighter anime. <laughs> when oh, you see a Sonic Boom or anything, it's the same sound, but this is completely different. This is like, like I it's like TX or T was it TQX T or THX THS or whatever. They're the oh. ones that are doing the sound effects in oh. the soundtrack. So it's like awesome. If you listen to headphones or TV soundbar or whatever you're using, it sounds amazing. It's worth sitting down and watching. I think it's about. 15 episodes and it's a three-part series too so when you watch it it has three different ones and they're all the same basis and they all follow the same storyline but each one has a different hero that's kind of in charge of watching the tournament it makes it worth it <laughs> uh next in line gun gale online guys oh this is the one you've been harping i about. freaking love gun gale online i've watched the whole anime out. series twice Two times the threequel to the original worldwide phenomenon sword art online um this time with guns. Call of Duty style anime pits teams of players against each other and the rather small pink Wonder Lynn seems to be on a roll. Um, she has no strength or anything. She's the shortest person in the game, but she is the fastest. So she uses a little bit of M little bitty MP5 and just, just wrecks people. It's amazing. It's fast paced. And you can watch this entire anime in a weekend. It's only one season. They only they ended the entire season on a Good note. So it's one season. I think it's maybe 20 episodes, but the episodes are like 15 minutes. So you can like just pow, bound it through. You got, you're out at the bar all night, Friday night, Saturday, you come out and you have the watery beer poops. Perfect time to sit there and watch what this. What the hell? You can, you can jump, <laughs> you, can you, jump me? you can jump through this. I'm saying you can jump through this anime in, in a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. So awesome! It's great. Without it's easy. The beer poops. Without the beer poops, you don't need. You don't need, you don't need the beer poops. You don't need beer poops to watch the show. But you can sit on the toilet and probably get through like two, three episodes. Come on, half of us watch. How watch long it on the are toilet. you on the toilet? <laughs> Record of Ragnarok. Record of Ragnarok. I just stumbled on this anime. I'm the weird guy that will sit there and just be like, I scroll through just, and whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm gonna land on it and watch it. I did it in Record of Ragnarok. The title and the and the summary of it just it didn't really, you know, wow me. But the actual show itself was really cool, a really really cool concept. This anime is a fight tournament for the fate of the entire world. Literally, the gods are over humans. Bullshit. That's like Zeus literally says that. Kill them all. Hashtag kill them all. Hashtag your kids ministries. Hashtag pray for your lives. 
So a demigod, so a demigod who I guess her name is Valkyrie, uh, decides to call out the lead god Zeus out on being a coward. Boom! Zeus is like, "All right, we'll make a tournament: humans versus gods." Um, the tournament is called Ragnarok. Uh, what makes this anime so amazing? The heroes are based on real life heroes um, from and from history. Um, How does so that sound familiar. Have I watched that? Uh, you may have watched. I didn't even know. I didn't even know anything about it. It was amazing. Uh, but let's say the gods have plenty of tricks up their sleeves. This anime is not what you think it is. I can promise you that because it is not like any tournament I've ever seen where it's, you're just following one hero. This is not like that. You're following dozens of storylines all at once. Um, the second season will be on HBO Max this year. So watch the first season, gear up, because the second season is on its way. Um, this Kingen Asura. This is a Netflix original that I think the entire world has slept on. Uh, this is an amazing fight style anime with 3D style textured animation. Um, kind of like a, a version of a cross between um, Prappa the Rapper, right? Prappa the Rapper, is that how you say uh, it? I mean, yes, but I don't think anything is like that. He's like flat. No, it's flat, yeah. but I'm saying it's cross between that weird style of animation and um, um, the Green Lantern animation from the animated series. It's very like the big boxy 3D and that mix together is weird, but it's worth it. It's Would amazing. you say more like maybe like Blue Sub number six? Maybe Blue Sub number six. Okay. Or, there you go. or, Gund or Gundam. Not Gundam. No, no. The one Gundam that had the the fight scenes were in uh, the space fight scenes were in 3D, but the uh, but the, act oh, the actors were live. You're right. That uh, one. There we go. That makes more sense. So, but this one's really cool. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna follow. I can't um, it. I'll have to look it up. All right, you're following Anma Tokita. This is all, what's crazy about this, this is this is based on a Japanese manga series from the same reign, written by Yabako Sandrick, San Rovic, sorry, I'm pitching. Say, say it with your words. Say, say it with your chest. Um, Use your words. <laughs> this is a gladiator tight combat, so it's like a bunch of guys in their MMA clothes, they have sponsorships, they are wearing trunks with sponsors on them, but they're literally shadow corporations or Billy worth billions and trillions of dollars. So if you win this tournament, you become like the king of business world in Japan. So, but all these fighters business world. and they announce. So when they come down, what's really cool about this anime is when they come down to the ring, um, it announces how much your company is worth, how much shares they were planning to win, and then if you lose and how many fights you've won. So there's guys with 50 fights and never lost um, that are old. That are from like the because this is current been going on for like years, so it's really cool anime. So I won't like, say anything so else, guys. Go watch it. Um, last but not least, I have so many questions. So many. The Magi. This is Sweet an awesome Jesus. adventure anime. This is really fun. Little kids can watch it. It's not brutal, and it has, of course, fantasy violence. Is what anime brutal? doesn't. <laughs> but <laughs> but the Magi. But this is more for kids. Kids like even eight years old to probably. Maybe seven, because it's just like an adventure anime. It's got Alibaba. It has got oh. Aladdin in it. Oh. So this is a really cool one. So this is a three-part nice. series. I recommend to anybody that loves a good adventure anime. Uh, Dungeons and Dragon magic dungeons are kind of like um, giant towers of dungeons underneath the pier all over the world. Uh, the adventurers are trying to raid them. So if you raid these and you break the dungeons and you get in there and you get the treasure, you get a lamp and a genie comes out and they're called gens in this. So if you get a gen, you get, they literally link, kind of link start over you and you become this gen, powerful. But only one man has mastered, I think he's up to five, and that's, that's um, Sinbad. Sinbad has mastered five and he's like the king of the seven seas. So you get these and you fight he's a using these. Dude. So it's pretty real. <laughs> I'm sorry, that I couldn't hear it. That was so bad. That was I so bad. Oh, Down, Lenny. Bad, Lenny. Where's I'm the newspaper? Sorry. We have a roll up newspaper for you. A I bottle. Don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> Murder. I couldn't pass it up. I'm sorry. So, guys, those are the top. Those are the five animes that you are sleeping on. I will have the links um, to you, probably each one wherever they're streaming at, inside of the description. Um, all right, guys. Like, which one are you excited about oh, I have watching? So many questions. Okay, question. Okay, okay, first off, let's, let's roll let's, back. Let's, you the, go first. The, the little pink hair girl at the MP5. So we're talking about she's Yellow like, she's just an ob job in Goldeneye. Oh yeah, she's, she's fast. Just, she's and she's running and around. What's like, cool about this? Because you, have you guys ever watched um, Sword Art Online yet? Have you no, seen the actual series? No, no, no matter how much you freaking beat off about it, like it's so like, amazing. I can't ever get to it. It's so amazing. It's literally what you just said. What we're about to go into the Ready Player One, where you're hooked up to a game system and you're inside of the game. 
So it was okay, super I'll, cool I'll about it. it. Yeah, so it was super cool. You literally dive into this game, essentially, and you are controlling your character. You are your character in the like game. Ga like gamer. Like gamer. Okay. Gamer like on gamer. steroids. Because okay. everything is there's called, so many, imagine so Blackout and Call of Duty, except you're in the game. Imagine like you have to choose your crew. That's terrifying. True, <laughs> you're getting shot, grenades are blowing up, there's guys in tanks and Humvees. Planes are flying overhead, it's insane. So you're in the game trying to win this thing, and so everybody has things. So things. she's in a game, she's, yes. it's not like real life. No, it's okay. in a game. It's not like Sword Art Online where if you die in the game, you die in real life. This is not like that. Didn't this is that just, Sword this, Art yeah. Yeah, they trap them in the game. Sword Art Online, get into it, it's awesome. What else? Okay. Any other thing? So let's roll it back to King and Asura. Okay. So you're pretty much telling me it's an anime of like, basically CEOs getting in a boxing ring. No, 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 they're not CEOs. They're fighters. They they all have fighters that are representing Champions them. Champions yeah. to the CEOs. Yes. So you're telling me, oh, okay. I, you telling me, I could have Amazon versus OnlyFans. Yes, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> essentially yes. And each other people <laughs> would be fighting each that. other. And if you lose, you get you get the shares of the company. And then it would be Amazon OnlyFans, which would be really big work <laughs> taking their clothes off. Oh, no. That's probably what it would end up being. <gasps> Pouring right that, to your door. That, that would be... <laughs> 48 hours or less. 48 hours. <laughs> but back to these, yeah, so these CEOs are... <laughs> They're getting basically paying people to fight. Do they win all the shares of the company, or just it's in a lot like a betted allotted amount? Like no, it's like, between it's, CEOs. So nobody in the tournament knows anything about who's betting in what. You just know the fighters are fighting each other. So if you and if you, you win, it's like a, basically a hostile takeover. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm and saying there's guys not, there that X, are like it's not X amount of shares. It's all all shares. the shares. They will win, all, or or they can do X amount of shares. Like okay. I will win, and I will own a third of your company. Okay, so, that's, so it's like so that. So you can break it off. But a bit, what's like. wild about it is like he doesn't care. Like the the character you're following through it, he doesn't give. He's the guy that he the guy that um. Is his is the CEO? It's not even really a CEO. He's like a puppet guy, and he just kind of got forced into it. What what is their business, dude? Oh my god, That's his like his uh, no. Lame. They're like a they're like a technology um, conglomerate. And there's guys that are fisheries. There's guys that are um, video people. There's Ameri the American one is um, Steel American Steel. Okay. And their guys this big ass black dude that's like an ex Navy officer, and his technique is he can just su figure it out how to force his cells to combust through his feet and he could fly and project himself forward. Oh, like Cannonball. Yes, but it's kind of, it's, Cannonball like slams into things and that's like his thing. This guy kind of like can stop on a dime and like turn and it's weird. Yep. There's guys, there's one guy that's all he does is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he's like uh, Cosmo. Yeah. He's this tiny kid, he's like 120 pounds, but he's like stretching dude, breaking dude's arms and legs. It's a cost, it is, a, if you like Baki, and you were like a fan of Baki or Baki the Grappler, the manga or the show, this is kind of like that Baki for business. But this is like, it's the story behind it that makes it better. That's my opinion. Because really. you're like, you just want this, you, it's really not even about Takedo and him, it's just this little guy. You just want this little guy to, you just like, I want you to win because you're good, you're a nobody. You barely could eat, you barely made enough to eat ramen noodles. And now he's like a billionaire because they just handed him all this money and said, ah, go ahead. But they they think ba to Baki, or I'm sorry, Baki, Takedo, the fighter's gonna lose and this guy's gonna end up taking the blame and go to jail. But this guy keeps winning. <laughs> I, mean, keeps, I know you keep saying the story is cool, but I'd rather see Frito Lay take on Ford. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, but, there's, but if you watch it, there are those, but they're not called for. They're yeah. like the car companies, and you're yeah. like, oh, That's and Ford. they make bets against each other, and they're trying yeah. really hard That's to win. Sounds really cool. It's kinda, really cool. I might actually check this out. Like Gun Girl, uh, Record of Ragnarok, I would suggest anybody watch. That is oh, so like, good. It's probably, so amazing. I'd, I'd check that one out just because I, I enjoy the lore. Okay, so I want to say I've watched that before. Is that the one where I can remember what it's called? There's this dude, he's like psycho, but he's dressed in like a Playboy bunny. It's a guy, he's dressed in a Playboy bunny outfit. Yeah, but no. Is, it's, that, that's, is that it? No. No? Okay. There was yeah. another, there's another. I like, know which one that is. Um, that's um. It's like another battle royale. Yeah, yeah it's um. um but he's like, he's like representative of like the Easter Bunny or something. Yeah, like that, isn't it's he? super weird. Yeah, this one is more like they have Zeus, they have Odin, they have like Athena, 
Um, they have Hercules, they have all so these gods. Greek gods. No, it's like every god in the pantheon of any, they have an Indian the god, a Hindu god. Um, they have the Grand Bois. They have, God, Buddha's there. They have like, all these gods are just mad. They're just tired of the humans. And then Zeus is like this old skinny little man. Like he's this tiny little, he's not this huge rippling god, he's this tiny little man that's ridiculous OP. And then he, Zeus fights Adam, the first man. So Adam and him, like, they find Adam's special powers. He has these brass knuckles, and he's like the power of the punch. He's like a boxer. <laughs> what? And he, like, just, he's the god killer. He's killed I, several gods. I, the, the, it's insane that, how powerful he is. So like, Adam, that was like, Adam, like Adam, Adam, Adam and Eve, Adam. yeah. yeah. Almost, he has kids, he has kids. Kate and Abel are there, too. They're all cheering his dad on. Oh, such a badass. And he's like, he's a skinny guy, pretty boy. And he just he got my attention again. It's amazing. There's what, um, skinny pretty boy. And then yeah. there's a <laughs> <laughs> no the whole Cain and Abel thing. <laughs> it's amazing. And I, like I said, guys, these are the five animes that I've seen that I have loved. And I'm like, when I talk about it with everybody, everybody's like, what is that? I've never even heard of it. All right, guys. So we have a new section on the thing. We'll be scene. we'll be shouting out a <laughs> subscriber every single week. And this week we are going to shout out. Osmosis Jones, spelled, uh, is it Asmosis? Asmosis. There's only one S, I hope it's Osmosis. As, is it Oz or As? Asmosis? I'm gonna say Asmosis. I want to say uh, Asmosis, Asmosis Jones. Asmosis. Asmosis. Asmosis Jones, that sounds Asmosis good. Jones. Great porn name. We like the cut of, we like the, we like the cut of your jib. What? Tell every sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Of course, we uh, we just went there. We had we have the joke. We we have the poke fun. It wouldn't be fun if we didn't poke fun at you. But thank you so much for your subscribing, guy man. We really appreciate your your some love and support, and we hope you like this episode. We right? hope you love us, man. <laughs> You're sleeping on these. Go watch them. Links will be in the description. Um, check us out um, on Tuesdays and Fridays, and we'll see you guys next time.